And Dan, yesterday we reported that Walsh Lohman had a violent relationship with an ex-girlfriend. Today we learned he had a similar relationship with his mother. Up until her death, 58-year-old Michelle Walsh was living in this upscale Palm Springs neighborhood with her son, Tostin Walsh Lohman. They were pretty quiet. They stayed to themselves. Um, he'd kind of roam around by himself a little bit, but that was about it. Police say it wasn't always so quiet. Police went to the home five times for domestic violence and battery calls, twice for welfare checks. But investigators say Walsh Lohman was never arrested because his mother didn't want him prosecuted. New Year's Day, the 30-year-old son was arrested for speeding in South Dakota. His mother's body was in the back of the car wrapped in a blanket. It's awful to hear about a tragedy like this. In the Santa Cruz neighborhood near King and Baldwin streets where Walsh lived with her son up until early last year, neighbors described the relationship as volatile. There were uh, activities where he, there would be like after midnight yelling and screaming and threatening that was going on out on the street. An autopsy is still pending, so we don't know how Michelle Walsh died. Was she murdered? And why was the son traveling with her body through South Dakota at more than 100 miles per hour? One possibility, he was headed to his father's home in North Dakota. She was always very friendly with us, walking her dog all the time. Um, talked about maybe opening up a B&B &B down in Barbados or on some islands out there. Now, at this point, we should note that the son has not been charged with his mother's death. Investigators with the Palm Springs Police Department has forwarded the case to uh, prosecutors in Riverside County. More information may be forthcoming tomorrow, if not Monday. Dan. Thank you, Felix. In the meantime, Tyson Walsh-Loman is in a South Dakota jail with bail set at $2.5